I'm here with our latest champion of season 14, Jason Brin. Congratulations. How you feeling? Feeling pretty uh, surreal. I'm mm-hmm. hasn't hasn't uh, set in yet. Actually, the win, so I'm sure it will tonight. Okay, so you started off short stacked, and you were kind of tight throughout the first half of the play, I think. And then you seemed to really change gears, which gave you a good boost. And you were going against two really tough opponents. My goal was to play the early half of the final table pre-flop. Um, I didn't have as much experience as the other guys at the table. And uh, I knew right away that my best chance was to win everything pre-flop, and that's pretty much what I did. Until I got down to four-handed, then uh, um, it seemed like play straightened up, but there was a couple uh, very aggressive people at the table all day long. And that changed when uh, they found out that I wasn't scared to get all my chips in, mm-hmm. which I wasn't all day long. So uh, that's really, I did have a game plan. I stuck to it and it worked out perfect. And how'd you work out this game plan? Did you do your research beforehand? No, I, well, I knew three of the final table players were pros. Um, you know, their game is to make you fold. And uh, I didn't let that happen. So I didn't give them the opportunity to do that to me. The other players at the table that did try to play pots with them busted. So, and D- Darren, I think he's probably one of the he's probably one of the best players I've ever seen. I mean, he's a former champion, you know, several times. He's his name's on this cup, and so is Andy's, and now yours will be too. So well, it's very hard to play with Andy. He, he's super aggressive. So you had I had to turn the table on him and be the aggressor, which completely flipped up his style and uh, I know he affected Darren the super aggression took its toll on Darren he, he was melting chips so I kind of see it all happening and uh, we played pre-flop poker for quite a while so and I didn't get on the wrong end of anything I did get in once short I, I, I was you know sixes versus eight and uh, it's really the only hand I needed help on, and I flopped, I flopped a set of sixes to get me through that hand, and pretty much home free after that. Now, what made you show the 7-3 in that hand when you turned up? And Andy clearly had something. I mean, it was it seemed like about 40 seconds he thought about it, and he popped out of his seat. So Yeah, he popped out of his seat. I thought a call was coming. Um, I pretty much figured I would lose that hand, and he folded. He said he had an ace. There was an ace on the board. I don't think he would fold an ace in that spot and leave himself with three million or four million in chips, but he very well could have. We'll see when the when the tape plays. But I know I had him confused and I didn't let him play his game. And that's that's why I was able to take over the chip lead and win it. Yeah. Worked out. Congratulations. Um, I'm super excited to watch it on TV and see what all the hands turn out to be because it was really interesting dynamic at the table. All right, well congratulations. Uh, For WPT.com, I'm Melissa Castello. Thank you.